Hey Pisces, Th thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water to row. I'm Chianti and I'm here to bring us a love reading for January 2020. Um, this message will not resonate for all Pisces, okay? It is energy, so this could be you or your person. If the message resonates with you, please remember to give me a like, a comment, subscribe, or a share. And if you're interested in booking me for a personal reading, my email information is in the description box below. All right, Pisces, I went ahead and pulled some Moonology Oracle cards for us first. I'm going to show you the cards real quick, and I'm going to clarify each one and see how the story goes for you. Again, this is Energy Pisces, so this could be you or your person, and it won't fit for all Pisces. But let's see what's going on with my fellow baby sharks in love for January 2020. The first card I pulled was your hard work is a is paying off this is new moon, moon and capricorn some of you are definitely dealing with the capricorn but some of you are getting ready to get some sort of abundance okay i feel that strongly the next question you, the next card you guys got is the answers you need are coming full moon and gemini now who's seeking these answers and what answers that we got coming towards us wow okay this next card really blew me nothing is yet set in stone okay mutable moon it looks like there's getting ready to be some sort of change pisces and you're getting ready to receive some sort of news maybe something that you thought was over is not over pisces i don't know the last card i got was surrender to the divine full moon all right i i pulled these cards in our energy these are the four cards i got i'm going to clarify each with a deck if this message resonates with my fellow baby sharks make sure y'all like comment subscribe and share okay oh man i dropped the card already i'm so sorry pisces okay sorry guys let's go ahead and see what your hard work is paying off is going to be for us okay again this is about this is a new moon in capricorn i feel strongly that some of us are like getting um raises bonuses promotions um but let's see what spirit has to say about this your hard work is paying off why is this here for pisces what hard work is pisces doing that's about to pay off for them spirit Ooh, the Ace of Swords and the Page of Swords. Some of you are may definitely be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but the cards are saying if you, okay, Pisces, if you've been studying something, you're getting ready to graduate or, or receive some sort of acknowledgement for this, but it does look like you're about to receive some sort of truthful communication. Remember, the next card I got is the answers you need are coming. The Three of Cups, a reunion, a reconciliation. Some of you could be dealing with the air sign. Some of you could be dealing with a fellow water sign. The moon is in Capricorn on this card, okay? But there's something about somebody spying. Somebody, you could be watching somebody. Somebody could be watching you. But there's something about someone studying something intently because there's going to be a truth spoken. And there's going to be a reunion and reconciliation. Wow. Give me more for your hard work is paying off for Pisces. Mm, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Hierophant, Taurus, the Ten of Swords, <laughs> Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, the Six of Cups. Pisces, wow, wow, wow. This could be you. You could be the King of Cups here, okay? But this, it, but this could be someone coming towards you. Could be a fellow water sign such as yourself. You could be definitely dealing with the Taurus because I have a Hierophant here and I have a Ten of Swords, which is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. But there is something here about some sort of painful, some sort of. It's weird, Pisces, and it's going to be different from each one of you. But I have the Six of Cups here at the bottom of my deck. This is something about a soulmate. Something about someone from the past. There is something about a commitment. Or a long or, or, or a marriage ending. There's something about a huge painful cycle ending, okay? And either someone is going to communicate this to you or you're doing this. I have the King of Cups here. This is someone that could be hiding their feelings. This could be someone who has a lot of love for you. There's something here about a commitment. And you, you're receiving some sort of truthful communication, okay? About some sort of painful cycle ending. Someone is ending a relationship. There's an ending here. And there's something about a soulmate, Pisces, but it but but it's under your hard work is paying off. So you make this fit how this fits, Pisces. Now let me grab a new deck. Hoo, 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 hoo. Let's see what we get for the answers you need are coming, Pisces. This gonna mean different things for different one of y'all. Please don't kill the messenger, okay? 
But there's something about some answers coming. It says it's a full moon in Gemini. Some of you definitely could be dealing with an earth sign because I do have a lot of swords over there. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, an air sign, a Gemini in particular, because I have a lot of swords there. But let's see, spirit, what are the answers you need are coming for Pisces? What are these answers coming for Pisces, spirit? Make it plain. What are the answers for Pisces? What are the answers? The sun, some of you could definitely be dealing with the Leo, but this is something about blessings on blessings on blessings, abundance, truth and clarity, happiness, eight of pentacles. This could definitely be dealing with work. Some of you definitely could be getting accepted to a job or an organization. Could be dealing with law enforcement or school or something like that. Some of you definitely could be finishing studying and getting accepted into some sort of huge program. Okay, I see that. But there's something about about work and paying attention to detail. There's going to be something about paying attention to detail and work, but there's something that's going to be made clear to you. There's going to be some sort of blessing and abundance in the answers. Give me more about these answers that's coming towards my fellow baby sharks. Give me more on these answers. This, the five of swords. Now, why is that there? Now... Someone may be conflicted about telling you, oh, the tower. Oh, okay, Pisces. So listen, huh. some of you uh, some of you guys definitely don't see these answers coming. There's a tower. This is a sudden upheaval. This is something coming subtly. Some of you definitely could be dealing with the Scorpio. But the Five of Swords is about jealousy, competition, manipulation. Somebody could be in two minds about something, but the, but the answers are getting ready to come because here's the tower, okay? There's some sort of sudden upheaval coming. It's going to bring some clarity to you about this, Pisces. Some, some of you guys are getting the answers. The card says so. The Eight of Cups. Some of you are going to walk away. This could be somebody you walked away from. The High Priestess. Oh, and the Ten of Wands. So some of you are getting ready. So, uh, And what's at the bottom of my deck? The Queen of Swords. So listen, Pisces. Wow. Hmm. So, here we are as the high priestess, okay? This is a wise energy. This is something about us being quiet. This could be something about a secret we know, okay? But the high priestess uses her intuition. She's wise and she's quiet, okay? But this is definitely us. And this is, a t this is something about us walking away and dropping some sort of painful, heavy burden, okay? But something is becoming clear. See, there's a five of swords here, but there's something that's clearing up about this for us, okay? Pisces, make this fit with this fit, but the answers that you need are coming in this situation, Pisces. And that's what Spirit is saying. It looks like you're going to walk away from the drama. There's some going to be some sort of heavy burden that you're about to end. There's some sort of painful cycle that you're getting ready to end as well. Or that you're receiving news of that's ending. Wow. Wow. Let's see what nothing is yet set in stone means for us Pisces. Again, I do feel like this is something that we're not going to see coming. Something that we may have thought that was done and over with. Because that's how that feels. Like, And then there was that tower. So it does feel like there may be something that we thought that was over, that we were staying quiet about. It's not over. Or that we're about to release. Or there's something to that effect there, okay? But there's, a, there's like about to be clarity and abundance coming. Let's see what nothing yet is set in stone for my Pisces is. What is not yet set in stone Pisces for Pisces spirit? Make it clear what's not yet set in stone for Pisces spirit. Make this clear for Pisces. What is not yet set in stone for Pisces spirit? Please tell us. Make it plain for my baby sharks. We don't ask for much. <laughs> the moon. See, oh my God, Pisces. So here we are. Here's the unknown. Here's a secret. What is this about, Pisces? Oh, and at the bottom of the deck is an Ace of Cups. Nothing is set in stone, Pisces. Something is coming. Wow. You're about to hear something. Woo-wee. I just got to chill. What is nothing yet is set in stone? The Three of Swords. And I got the Knight of Pentacles at, at the bottom of my deck. So something, something, I'm just going to call it how I see it, Pisces. Something. It may have broke your heart. This could have been a third party situation. Something that you were backstabbed and betrayed about. It's not something that's not set in stone here, Pisces. There's secrets here. There's a quiet energy. There's secrets, but there's about to be some truth that's about to be spoken. Give me more on nothing is yet set in stone for Pisces. Wow. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Give me more on this. There's about to be a new beginning, Pisces. I don't think you see this coming. Oh, the Seven of Wands. The Three of Wands. Wow. 
what's at the bottom of my deck, the Eight of Wands. So the Seven of Wands is all about blocking something, right? Standing your ground. The Three of Wands is about waiting on your ships to come in. Pisces, you're going to have to put you where you go in this. Pisces, again, you may not see this coming, okay? Somebody is on defense. Somebody is trying to uh, stand on their ground about something. They may be fighting some sort of battle. They may be trying to block something or someone and waiting on their ships to come in. There's something about a new beginning here. Here's another card of communication, the Eight of Wands. I don't think you are going to see this communication coming based on the cards that I'm seeing here. You have the answers you need are coming. Nothing is just set in stone. Your hard work is paying off. Pisces, I don't know what this is going to mean for you, but there's something about an unknown new beginning coming your way. Something solid, stable, and abundant. I don't know if this is work or if this is a relationship, but there's something that had you feeling heartbroken, backstabbed, or betrayed. There could be an opportunity that you thought you weren't getting, but nothing is set in stone here. And Spirit is saying it's coming to you and it's about to be communication. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to clarify this last card. This The last card is surrender to the divine, Pisces. What is this for us? Why is Spirit telling us to surrender to the divine? I'm going to find out just like y'all. <laughs> gonna find out my beautiful baby sharks Ooh, baby shark something is coming you're about to receive news or something this could be happening right now getting ready to happen i don't think some of us see this is see this coming i really don't there's a lot of quiet energy here the moon and the high priestess there's some secrets here and there's definitely something about some sort of heavy burden that we're dropping and walking away from. Some sort of mind manipulation maybe. But there's clarity coming in the situation. There's a new beginning. Some of us are getting ready to get some new commitments. Some new contracts. But there's some huge cycles that's ending. And some of us don't even hear this. And we're going to receive communication. Some of this is, this, this is going to come to us in the form of communication. And I'm almost positive that a lot of us does not see this coming. What is surrender to the divine spirit for my beautiful baby sharks? Wow, guys. Why is surrender to the divine here for Pisces? Why is surrender to the divine here for Pisces? The three of wands. And got, oh. So, but this is about waiting for your ships to come in. Look at her on this card. It's about waiting on your ships to come in, but this is also about taking action. The five, of, the five of Pentacles is at the bottom of my deck. See some, see some. There's something about feeling left out in the cold here, feeling some sort of lack. But, but Spirit is saying, surrender to the divine because you've been waiting on something and it looks like it's coming. And I don't think you see it's coming. I think you think something is over that is not over, Pisces. Give me more on surrender to the divine. Give me more on surrender to the divine, Spirit. Why is this here for Pisces? The Page of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, wow, the Ace of Wands. Huh. So listen, Pisces. It looks like there there was something that you were been waiting on or that you may have wanted that you did not get. So here's that Ten of Wands again, that you did not get or was delayed or that you saw as a bad investment, right? It looks like the, like Spirit is saying, sur surrender to whatever that bad investment is because things are not set in stone the way you think they are. There's about to be some sort of communication coming your way about something. I don't think you see this coming. I have the Page of Cups and the Ace of Wands, okay? The Page of Cups could be, it could be uh, something concerning a child, okay? But this could also be something about an apology coming your way or some sort of communication, messages of love. Look at the Page of Cups on this card. Okay, this is something about this is something about that's that's very emotional, and there's something here about a passionate new beginning here, a spark, a flame. Could be dealing with the fire side. I don't know what this is about, but this is about. And then at the bottom of my deck is the ten of wands. So there's going to be some sort of release. Somebody, I feel seriously, somebody is getting ready to like. If, if I could just figuratively, somebody's getting ready to burn the house down, okay? <laughs> like, and you're going to receive messages about this, I think. Or you're about to release some huge burden of something that you were waiting for and you're surrendering to the divine, but there's like something else amazing coming your way and you don't even see it coming because you didn't think you were going to get something that you, that you were waiting on. Give me one more for surrender to the divine for Pisces. Give me one more for this for Pisces. Wow. Wow. The Six of Pentacles. 
the six of pentacles see there see there is there is going to be something that's about to balance out you're about to receive something or, re or receive a message or something and the seven of cups again i feel like you, you you're not going to see this coming because you thought you thought this was an option that was closed to you okay but if you remember these messages pisces i'm going to give them to you one more time your hard work is paying off. The answers you need are coming. Nothing is yet set in stone. And surrender to the divine, Pisces. That's the advice I got for y'all for love for January 2020. If the message resonates, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Again, I do offer personal readings. And if you're interested in booking me for a private reading, my email is in the description box below. Until I see you guys again, take care. All right, Pisces. Bye-bye.